So, in our official community of, of, of Bratislava, which is the capital city of the Slovak Republic, and it is the biggest and most active community, we have around 500 official members who are affiliated. Um, so from this number, many fewer are attending or frequenting on a, on a regular basis um, religious activities uh, or even cultural activities because our official community includes both. Uh, so, um, an, organi an organization uh, like, uh, it's called the Hidden Child, which is an international organization uh, whose members were children during the years of the Holocaust. So, uh, uh, in Slovakia, they have around, let's say, hundred members altogether. Uh, those people are not necessarily members of the local community, um, but uh, and they're, they're not all from, from Bratislava. And they have some meetings, um, and of course, as a religious community, we have regular prayer services, uh, and there we get, you know, between 12 and 20 people on a regular so-called uh, Shabbat service. So you have a very typical picture um, where you have several hundred people who have affiliated officially, but a much smaller core group who attend events on a regular basis. But the other side of that statistic is you really have a other, few other hundred who are not affiliated at all, but are Jewish and even you know, people who, who identify themselves as being Jewish. <clears throat> so you could have as many as a thousand individuals like that uh, in the city of Bratislava. Um, Kozice is the second largest community that is in eastern Slovakia. There they boast around 300 or so affiliated members. Um, but a similar picture could be there as well. You could have another one or two hundred who are not affiliated and of course considerably less than this 300 who are active on a weekly or, or monthly basis. So these two communities, Bratislava in the west of Slovakia and Kosice in the, in the east of Slovakia, are like the two poles, the two big communities. And there are several other communities which still exist officially as community entities. Um, and some of them have as many as 50 members. But again, one does not see this number of people uh, so that would be Nitra, Dunajska Streva, Nova Zamki, Galanta, um, Komarno, for example. Uh, so in a way, uh, on an official level, we could speak about about 500 affiliated Jews in Bratislava, perhaps almost 500 in Kojice, and then 500 if we take all the other communities together. And so the total number would be around 1,500. Um, and yet if we double that to account for unaffiliated Jews, so it would come around 3,000. And uh, indeed, 3,000 is the estimate of a number of Jews in Slovakia, of the American Jewish Committee and several other organizations who collect statistics in this way. And this 3,000 number is curiously uh, reflected 
in another phenomenon, which is there was a census a few years ago, and that census uh, enabled people to check off if they are Jewish. I cannot recall at the moment if being Jewish was indicated there as a category of uh, ethnic identity or if it was religion. But in the end, it, the result was around 3,000 people uh, identified themselves as being Jewish. So that's a very interesting statistic. The mentality of Jews is very secularized, even though their affiliation would be through a religious community. Um, but uh, this result uh, is based on a few factors. Um, there was a few opportunities for people to emigrate. One was in the late 40s, uh, around the time that the Czechoslovak Socialist Republic was, was established. And people who really feared that it would not be possible to have real Jewish religious continuity, those people felt it was, it was time to leave. Um, the 50s and 60s was, was not a good time for Jewish religion, although there was a fairly large degree of freedom uh, to carry out religious services, but there was a lot of social and cultural pressure to assimilate. Um, but in the 60s, around the time of the Prague Spring, there was another large immigration, which tended to be people in their 30s and 40s. And this then left a kind of a hole of that age group. And from 1968 until today, the community of, of the Slovak Republic, the Jewish community, is looked at as being in, in elderly communities. So today, uh, the, let's say, conservatively, let's say 60% of the people in our community are, are 60 years old or, or older, or perhaps even 70. Um, now, uh, we do active outreach, so we try to find from that unaffiliated group. We founded a kindergarten in 1995. And so we, we've changed a lot of that. And a lot of these kindergartners that we taught 25 years ago and then 24 and 23 years ago are now teenagers. Some of them are married already. So they are filling out the ranks of younger age categories, which is, and, and are active, which is, which is a very good thing.